Hello, welcome back. We are at Loch Venica and we are off on a solo pike fishing adventure. I am got high hopes for today. I found a few spots last time I was out, as you've seen in the video. And uh, I've got my wee northern light boat, the super duper lightweight northern pike hunter. Um, it's caught two pikes so far, which is, yeah, doing it twice. But today we're out with the lures. I've got my rod there. I'll, I'll give you a wee tour of my boat. Here's the wee launching bit that we launched down. This isn't easy to get off the roof, by the way. So I've obviously seen, if you see, I've got my engine. I've no bothered with the trolling motor today. Just the engine petal tank. I've not got that much petal, so I'm not doing much trolling. Uh, I've got my gloves in case it gets cold. Pliers, tools, everything's there. Fish finder, which I've uh, bloody knocked it. Like that, just it's ready to fall off, so I might just uh, stick that in the corner or down the bottom here. Uh, I've got my battery, which is overkill for powering the fish finder because uh, it's for the trolling motor. My comfy seat, jacket in case it rains, life jacket that's going to go on. That's a wee life jacket belt, just like a rubber ring kind of thing. Lunch and all my all my lures are in there, lunch and all the lures. My fishing rod, my fishing net. Don't need a landing mat in here because I put EVA foam on, so it's super, super soft and it will get wet because I'm in and out the boat. Uh, so yeah, ready to go. I filled the petrol tank, so we're ready to go. Now, unfortunately it's just me, so it's literally just me holding the camera today. If I get a fish I might be able to video it, if I don't then I've, I won't. But I'll try my best. That's me on the water. I'd like to stand up. So as you see it's uh, too deep for pike at the moment. The trolling rod just... I've got it out trolling whilst I'm out. I'll go up towards this kind of area up there, work my way down. I was at the boathouse last time, it looked good but I didn't catch anything. But it looked good. So we've got a couple of holes to cover. Ben venue ahead of us, which is beautiful as always. So it's looking good, great day for fishing. There really is nothing to this boat like. <laughs> I love it though, it's amazing. Start the French, the depths, the old here. There's fish there. Trout or something. I caught a brownie and a, a jack bike last week when I was here, or two weeks ago. I've had zero bites just yet. Currently anchored at 19 foot, so I'm fishing quite deep. I'm looking for the big ones. Well, I'll give it a wee while and then I'll go try and find a different spot. I had nothing when I was trolling along the sides there, but I'll get them, they'll come. It's quite chilly, so I put on my jacket. Good thing about this seat is I can turn all directions to fish, which is great. I don't think you'd want to stand up on this boat and fish, because it's quite, uh, you know, wiggly. Using this. It's got quite good movement in the water, it's heavy, so it drops down quite quick. Um, but. Wait to find any, which if you're targeting jacks is relatively easy. I'm only taking uh, targeting big fish, so I'm taking big lures, you know. Uh, so I try to avoid the jacks and just get the big fish, but I think the tactic, the winning tactic, might be to. That was definitely a hit. Let's have a look. Two guys are chatting. That's been hit there, bounced. Definitely bounced. It's more of a nudge. 
Actually, there you go. This, this lure is in its first hit. I don't know if you can see that. Where's it? See there? A couple of teeth marks. Put the camera's that side. Right there. And at the top there. So how that never st struck into it. So his mouth's this big. That's probably an alright sized pike. But I didn't feel the hook so we're anchored it will still be in the same spot. I've seen something that people actually stick the hooks in that rather than have them dangling. I was watching a a fishing thing on YouTube and that's what they do. What all the guys there do it and they're all pros. So back we go. See if we can catch it. Okay, what else I'd like? A water wolf because like obviously that pike must have been following. It's probably followed it quite a few times. And uh, it'd be great to see what you're missing. Can you imagine seeing all the fish you're missing? It'd be depressing, but it would be great. This wee swallow keeps flying by me. <laughs> Just passed a massive weed bed, got to change my plans, change the tactics. Uh, after trying a few spots and having nothing at all happen, I'm going shallow and fishing weed beds. I'm trying literally just run my lure right across the top of them. I mean, look at these weed beds. So it should be coming to the top of the, this big bed that I found. And I'll reel in my lure. I've had absolutely nothing, just that one big hit. And that was it, so. Yeah, I'm just going to do a drift and fish these weeds here. I'll see if I can get up with my outboard. So a bit of a friendly fisherman situation here. That guy that was over there dead baiting, there's only a big one. And I'm sitting just casting my lures and I could hear his second one go. So I shouted across the water, do you want a hand? And he's sitting there, he's netting it now, he's been fighting it a while So I knew it was a decent size And his second one's going, so he's probably got a second one on the line So off I go on my boat To come and help I help him unhook, help him land and get it sorted So it looks, it's always good to see big fish too, so There it goes So we're here chatting Yeah, you keep chatting And uh, can't be much left to salt about, but... He's on. I need to get back out with my lures. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Anyway, I'll get a net ready. I'll get mine, because yours is all wrapped up. Yep. I'll go get my net. Two things. Another friendly fisherman act here. Look at my wee boat. That's a sexy wee boat. Is it taking line? Jesus. Yep. Yep. Whoa! A powerful, eh? Aye, ah, I've got a feeling it's a, a decent one. You'll be glad we're hanging about. Yeah. Let's not get ahead of 
<laughs> Until it's in the net. It's in the net. It's not cold. I've, uh, I've had that many, many a times. Oh, yeah. I think that's a big. I think we're looking at a decent bike here. Yeah. It's, it's moving away to the left, though, isn't it? As well. Yep. Oh, you can't be it. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's taking a lot of line, but I can tell you something, what have you behind you as well? This, this, this is a good picture. <laughs> That's the only thing wrong with it, isn't it? <laughs> no, not at all, you've got a fish, fish on your rod. <laughs> Must be the only circumstance where you can say I've got a bent rod, I'm happy. Yeah, well, no, <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, <laughs> nice. Yep. Yep. You can see it's almost at the top of the water. Oh, well, right, there's a fin. Yeah, yep. That was a. There's a decent bike on the end of this, by the way. Yeah, yep. There's your weight. Jesus, one. Well, I don't know if you can see this. There's a big pike here. Yeah. It's probably been caught before and it knows what, what's happening. Well, I think it's a, uh, it's tails a double, I think. If anything, <laughs> but we'll see what he's like when we see it. Yep. Yep, we'll start getting in the water. It's right in front of me. It's right in front of me. Oh, I know, it's right there though. It's so close. I don't want to grab it and miss it. Every, every time I work my way towards it, it spooks. Oh, there you go. That is a beautiful pike in my net that I didn't catch. <laughs> Thank you very much, young man. No, that's alright. Pleasure. Pleasure to help. Ah, uh, you've got it right at the edge of the mouth as well, so well done. We'll get her in, get her unhooked. After a good fight, yeah, she'll swim off for another day. Help. That was a belter of a fight. That was a good yeah. 10 minutes. At least we've got some content. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, the, the right result at the end of it. Give her a minute, give her a bit of juice. Nice. Well, so hopefully I'll catch you one day again. Nice one. Right. Congratulations. No, thank you. You. Well, I think we can agree that was a good deed done helping that man. His name was Steve. Helping Steve. Nice guy. Ten foot. No much weed though. There's a lot more weed over there. But eight foot is kind of 
10 foot, 8 foot is where the weed kind of is doing well. This looks like a good bit. Oh god, now we're into the weed beds. So yeah, I'll just go and come into this wee, this wee bay. Chuck on there. Can't remember what it's called. Deviator Swim 140. 140 grams. A fair bit of weight to it. And it really has got a lovely glide action. Really nice fishing. It's caught, it's caught a jack last week. First time I used it last week. Caught a jack. Let's get back here then. Weed beds. I love my wee boat. Look. <coughs> if you reel this in fast, it's got a lovely roll in motion. It still goes side to side. But um, if you get a, get a few cranks or a jerk, it, it really fires it away to the side. Which is cool. We're kind of hitting 10 foot now, we're getting to a wee drop off area. It's got some lovely flashes this thing. I adjusted my casting uh, resistance thing in my bobber. Don't know what it's called, but I just and I could. It goes much further. Fish on! Yes, you fucking dancer! Excuse my French. Right, my pliers are under the phone. <laughs> Straight away the boat turns. Don't you love having a wee boat? Come on, baby. Right, let's see what it is. Looks like a jack. <laughs> Wait to see this fucking jack. It's not much bigger than my lure. Right, Jack. Jack attack. Give me my lure back. What a beautiful wee fish. Oop. Off it goes. The blank is off. And that uh, lure just does it every time. Just now. After that jack, at the end of the drift there, I decided to troll a wee bit to try and find some, or some good spots. Uh, nothing at all, I've covered quite a lot of the water, uh, not caught into nothing. So, yep, I'm currently in like 8 foot water, plenty of weeds. I've tried a few different lures, now I'm trying uh, one of the handmade ones. I've seen it in other videos. So yeah, back up to the top of the lock when I caught that jack. Maybe drop the anchor to the edge of that 20 zone probably. And uh, see if we can't get a bike, fingers crossed. Got one on. It's taking line. It's taking line. I managed to get that filming. I just seen the boat. I mean, you've all seen this rod handle and the big ones, and uh, this is taking line, so it's taking a lot of line. Jesus Christ, slow down, you nubby. Come this way. Come this way, come on. My net's there, my four sets are there. Jesus Christ, that's taking line. Jesus. I just woke up when I got to the boat there. It was right there. I never quite seen it though. 
va oh. oh god jesus look at this thing it's getting stripped come on baby here we go god, i may have to lift this anchor surely not come on try and turn it towards me oh there's no holding that line let's try to keep the thumb on to keep it a wee bit more drag jesus this is strong even if it's a double it's a a good double it just hit it hit it hard it's quite a big lure i've got on and it hit hard so that's a good sign running it's quite far away like <laughs> it's just taking lines stripping it jesus crikey hopefully i didn't find a snag if i had a boat partner i'd lift the anchor right now and just get towed about with it come on oh it's went for oh 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 i see a big fin oh if i can catch this by the way yeah Nice fish. <laughs> on my wee boat as well. On my wee boat. We see this. Fuck, I hope it's... I really hope this is... Filming. It's decent! I really need to turn it away for the anchor. No, get this way. Oh, that's, that's a big one. It could even be bigger than Steve's. Come on, girl. Come on. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Yeah, she's right there. She's right in the boat. Come on. I think this is a 20. Oh. She's away again. My arm is killing me, by the way. My arm is killing me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Use the boat. Use the boat. Use the boat. Come here, get in the bloody net. Oh, it's a weight again. Jesus. It's only just hooked as well. No, don't go in there. Don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. Come to me. Come to me, come on. Come on. Oh, I can't wait to show you this pipe, by the way. Come on. Get in. She's in. She's in. I've done it, boys and girls. I've caught a big fish on my wee boat. Solo. Yes! Get in. Big pike in the net. Now, hopefully, everything goes to plan. And uh, I justify spending the money on this, this boat. Let me just check it's recording. It's recording. There you go. Big pike in the net. Tools out. Get some space for her. I can just do it right on the edge. Come here. Right on the edge, hopefully. I think she's caught on the net. Deal with this first. Right. Oh God, she's caught on the net. that done. This, this right here. Right. That's one done. Oh, fuck. And I would much rather keep her in the water to unhook. One, because then my net doesn't get as tangled. And two, it's easier. You know, better for her. This is a big bike, by the way. Oh my days. Oh my days. Try and get this bloody net out of the way. That's the problem. It's not even hit this caught.
と。Ready for this, guys? Oh, what a bike! She is a 20 pounder at least, I would say, or if not, about that. Yeah, I'm going to unhook this from my net. Can you believe I caught that? Can you believe I caught that? Oh my god. Oh my days. Come on, big girl. Right. Is this could be a new PB? Make sure it's at zero first. Hang on. Ready for this. Oh, oh. 20. Oh, yeah, can't you? Right, 20. Whoa, easy girl. Where's that? 25. It's 20. 23. Right, 20. 23. 23 pound. Holy smokes. Twenty-three pounds, boys. How's that for a pike on the wee boat? That echo. Mwah. I fished for you all day. All day I fished for you. Now you get the pleasure of going back. This swim. Oh, she's straight away. She's off skis. New PB. What does this weigh? I need to weigh this. Obviously, it's probably two pound or something. So close to about a PB. It's a pound. And that was like, let me just look. One, two, three. About 23 and a half. It was, so we'll call it 23. Take away a pound, new PB, 22 pound. Get in boys, get in. New PB on the wee boat, it's already paid off. Get in. I can't believe it. I'm over the moon, over, over my cell, unhooked. Released, she's away. I'm gonna go tell Steve. He's the random guy I met, but you know what it's like when you catch a big pike, you need to tell someone. Oh, I gave it a big smooch day. That's made my day. Well, let me just check this filament. That is good. I pulled it off. Can you believe it? Another 20. That's two 20s this year. The new PB, that's about 22.5, it was 23 and a half. The net, just that bit of the net where it was in was a pound. And, uh, yep, I'll show you the lure. Handmade lure, by the way. By Pad Baits. It's the Pad Baits Sizzler 15. It's absolute, it's caught a few jacks, this. It's quite a chunky thing. And it's, uh, that's it, it's caught a few jacks. And today I caught a 20. Look at the size of the scales on that thing. What a fish. That put up some fight. That was a great fight. It was just stripping line. I couldn't have done nothing about it. The one at the lake that I caught wasn't quite like that. That was a belter of a fight. Look out for me. I've got 70 pound bride on and heavy duty gear. Always heavy duty gear. And I've got my tools right here beside me. It was just perfect, I was able to nicely, that's what I thought, like, because it's the boat's so low to the ground. It's really good for unhooking in the water. So you really don't, like, especially if you're lure fishing, you don't need to take that fish out of the water for long at all. We'll literally just take it out, quick picture. But I just take screenshots from a video. Um, but yeah, oh, what a fish, man. What a fish, what a fight. I don't know whether to go tell Steve or no. I don't really know Steve, but <laughs> just helped him catch a 20. What did, what did we catch there? I can't remember. A 20 odd pounder anyway, and then that's a 20, 22 of the day. 22 and a half there. <sighs> what a buzz. Anyway, I'm going to put that lure back out, cover the same kind of area. I'm going to mark on my map first though. But I caught the big fish here. And uh, yeah, I'm sitting in 11 foot of water. 
Now there's actually no weeds here, but there is a drop off just in front of me here. A shallow bit behind me with loads of weeds. So that's like a big 20 foot dome. So there is a big, there's a drop off in there somewhere. And it was over there that I cast out to. And I was reeling it back and I went, doop, 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 doop. I was like, yes. And then I got it really close to the boat, like really, really close to the boat. And I just, it just took off. And, and I hadn't even seen it. But I seen the big swirl that left and I thought, that's a big fish, it just took off. And then after that, it was a good few minutes fighting it. And uh, yep, it produced a big fish. It managed to get it in. It was only just hooked in, um, which was good. The whole time I was unhooking it, I was trying to like, get the bloody hooks out of the net, which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with because the nets are a pain in the bahookie, but we're needed. We do need them, obviously. Um, especially a big girl like that. I can't chin her because if she flips and I've unhooked her, she's off skis. I want, I want to get a raid. That was a PB, obviously, so I wanted to get a raid and I wanted a picture. Um, so yeah, I could tell my wee boy that daddy's caught a big monster fish again. Happy days, it's been a while since I've told him that. Uh, he phoned me earlier and asked if I'd caught any fish and I says, I've caught a wee fish. So, yeah, he only hears about my pals catching the big fish, not daddy. So today daddy's done it. Happy days. And I managed to keep it out my anchor as well, which was good because that was close. That was very close to going to my anchor at one point. Leave it man, I'm chuffed. Look at I'm so chuffed. Look at this beautiful bay that I'm in. Ba low battery, so this might be my last video, but if it is, it doesn't matter because I had done it. Worth all the hard work, worth it, getting it down the boat and everything. Uh, worth every minute. And I can go home a happy man today. I've done what I set out to do the last few times. <sighs> Hi the boat trailer. Getting that up there's no easy.